the majority of all the old urchin grounds are pretty much uh, not happening at all, not harvesting uh, whatsoever. And that's just due to the big uh, changes that have been going on underwater. Uh, lots of kelp, algae growth, the sea urchins can't really uh, establish themselves there anymore. There's a lot of little crabs that never used to be in the water, these little green crabs that uh, will attack baby sea urchins. I was just out of, uh, just getting out of college, 1989, and I was down in Portland, and it was a time, it was sort of the, back in the gold rush days when you had, uh, you know, anybody could get a license, you could pretty much go by yourself and just jump overboard and just be faced with acres of these things. The price then was, uh, we thought 50 cents a pound was big money, you know, and if we could get a thousand pounds of sea urchins, which wasn't that hard to do, uh, and, you know, one diver, uh, you could e get even more if you wanted, but uh, you'd make 500 bucks, there you go, day's pay. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Yum. This is what we want right here, this stuff. So then the price went from, you know, like I say, uh, 40 cents or whatever to up upwards of like $1.50. And that's when, you know, everybody wanted to be in the fishery. The numbers were overall starting to drop and uh, people started getting out of the fishery. Overseas, they, they just don't have uh, uh, many sources of these elvers anymore. And, you know, they raise these elvers up from juvenile to, to, to mature eels. Um, they, they found Maine to be probably the best uh, supplier overall uh, of, of the elvers. I've heard some elver fishermen tell me that the, the, uh, the eels, the, the, mo the mother eels, are being fished out and that there are a lot of little baby eels, they're, apparently they're really fast moving little eels, that uh, you know, they're all coming upstream, going back to their uh, place of birth, to you know, the part of their life cycle to do their thing, and it, it just seems that uh, you know, we don't really probably understand them enough, as well as the, the actual numbers of them out there, uh, to, to come up with anything that is concrete in terms of a, a, you know, good rules to regulate that fishery. You know, doing a comparison with the, the sea urchin fishery, yeah, there are a lot of similarities. For a very small investment, you could buy either a fike net, net which is what they uh, string across uh, the streams to, to harvest elvers, or just a dip net, which is, you know, hand dipping is what they call it, um, and using spotlights to attract the, the elvers into the nets. With that comes the whole problem of people fishing them illegally without licenses. And uh, the state is sort of faced with a whole new uh, challenge to how, to how to regulate the fishery in a, in a manner that, you know, they can, uh, you know, that it will be viable and remain strong for the years to come.